Hello, I am Alex from Your Classroom Helper, and thank you for stopping by and watching this tutorial of ZipGrade. This video is part of a series I'm creating in which I explore educational apps that would be great assets to your classroom. ZipGrade is basically a mobile portable Scantron machine. So you're able to grade any multiple choice tests that are printed on their special grading sheets um, wherever you are. So no more fighting over the Scantron machine at your school. It is available for iOS and Android and you're able to access more information as well as those special scoring sheets on www.zipgrade.com. So the nice thing about ZipGrade is that it is free for your first 100 scans per month. If you need to scan more than 100 papers per month, then you can purchase um, their $6.99 per one year unlimited scanning option. This is just a screenshot from their website. They have multiple answer sheet options, so you can customize these based on how many questions your test has. They have the 20 question form, which is the one that I'm going to show you for this tutorial, all the way up to 100 question forms. You can also create your custom answer sheet using the wizard, as you can see here on the bottom. Okay, on the left hand side of this page is my assessment. So I created a 15 question multiple choice chemistry quiz. On the right hand side is my key. So as you can see, I used a pen to fill in this key and I actually left a lot of white space to see how well it would be able to scan and register this. Um, so I went through, here's my key. So you can see that is all filled out. Okay, my key is still on the right hand side um, and this is the student key that I fill, filled in on the left hand side. So you can also see I left a lot of white space in my student key as well. Um, if you compare the answers here, my student should get a 14 out of 15. They got this very first question incorrect. Another thing to know that's really nice about using these grading apps is that my student was able to use their pen. So I don't have to worry anymore about um, repeatedly telling my students to bring a number two pencil into class, of course expecting at least one or two of those students to forget and needing to have a constant supply of number two pencils um, when I'm giving Scantron tests like the end of the year exam. From here, I'm going to project my phone screen so you're able to see what the phone interface looks like as I am scanning these multiple choice quizzes. The right hand side of this screen is the screen of my phone. So I just opened up the ZipGrade app. It's letting me know that I have a hundred free scans left for this month um, and I only have the free option. And so this is the amount of scans you have every month. I selected quizzes because I'm going to create a new quiz and select the new quiz button at the top right hand corner. I'm calling this quiz demo and I'm selecting the sheet. I have a 20 question form because I have 15 questions. Um, you can also add tags down here, the lower right hand side um, to help you identify your quizzes. Um, so this is a quiz I made for my demo class under my tags, but I wanna create my new class. I'm gonna call this my demo class. And once I've created it, I can select okay on the bottom right hand side. Okay, I want to enter my key. So I'm going to select edit key and you have the option of scanning, which is what I'm doing now or entering it yourself. So here is my key. You have to put it close so that those squares are lined up and it scans it really quick. So you can see all of these blue circles um, rep are circling the correct answer. I want them to be one point each. Um, and then you can go back through, you could either enter it manually or I'm just double checking to make sure that the correct answers were selected. And it looks like it scanned everything correctly. 
Okay, now I can select my scan papers option when I'm ready to scan my students' assignments. So I'm gonna put it close and it scans it so quickly. Um, so my student earned a 14 out of 15 and 93%, which is correct because as I showed you before, they got all the questions right except for that first one. Um, I can review the paper um, to see what questions they got correct or incorrect. I'm gonna check that and here we go. Yes, they got the first one wrong. It should be C, but they selected A. And here's another screen. You can see that written out as well. Okay, so I did play around with it a little bit. Um, I went back to edit key and played around with if I accidentally entered two correct answers, what would it do when I scanned my student's paper? So I selected A and C, I went back, it shows the same grade for that student, um, the 93.3% still. And so here was her, her answer. So I just rescanned it just to make sure and it came up with the same number. So just make sure there's not two correct answers selected. As with any other Scantron machine, it's not going to register that correct if they have just one of those two answers correct. I went back really quick so you could see what I just did. Um, so these were the two answers that I had selected and now I'm going to take off the correct answer C and just leave the incorrect answer A that my demo student selected. So I can go back, edit my key, I selected A, and when I go back, it automatically has regraded my student's quiz, giving her a 100. So if you realize you have a mistake on your key, you can just change your key um, and it will automatically regrade all of those quizzes that you have in the system. That wraps up this basic overview of ZipGrade. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions and I will leave any updates or relevant links in the information below.